Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm back um, for now. <laughs> um, please keep in mind that, okay, well, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me start over. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, May 4th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So um, just because this is a reading dated for the 4th of May, that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hi guys. So, okay, I'm back. Um, I'm slowly going to start getting back into the swing of things. Um, I needed a break, as you guys know. And it's funny because I woke up this morning and I was like, I, I, maybe I should try doing morning coffee today. Um, I don't know, though. But then I had, I had a moment where I was kind of asking myself, like, can I even... Am, am I even, like, in tune anymore? Am I even still, like, connected to anyone or anything any longer? Like, can I even read cards at all anymore? <laughs> I just, I've been in this like fog, in this haze, um, and it still hasn't quite cleared. I'm still kind of hazy, to be honest, um, but I'm going to try. I'm going to, I want to, I want to try and get back into this here. Um, I was thinking maybe I should just, you know, continue taking time off, but um, th that was, the thought of doing that was bothering me, but then also the thought of like getting it back into reading full time again was I'm not so sure about that, so we're just going to ease on in. But I had, a, I was asking, like, I had this feeling, it's like, can I even do this? Am I, <laughs> can I even still read cards any longer? And I was just sitting here shuffling the cards, you know, trying to get into the groove, and this came out, the Empress. So this was, this was Spirit's answer to me. <laughs> they were like, of course you can do this, Eric, come on. But then, of course, look at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, there's a lot of burden. So there's a lot of burden. There's a lot of strife. Um, okay, there's the King of Wands. Interesting. Um, the energies have just been really, really heavy, you guys. And it's really interesting how, um, you know, we've been on lockdown. For a lot of us, we really can't do much. Oh, look, Three of Wands here. Okay, it's part of the path. We really can't do Seven of Wands, right? We really can't do too much right now. And um, it's surprising to me how overwhelming that can be. Um, but this, this situation is unique because not only can we not do much, but then we also have, you know, the fear of this virus that's running around. There's all kinds of fear being spread right now. I think for people, and I think that actually might be why, you know, the collective energy or we're all just, we feel so heavy, we feel so burdened and bogged down because there's just so much fear. There is a lot of fear being thrown around right now. Um, and, uh, it's understandable, uh, for any of anybody that's, I, I guess we'll say beating the drum of that, that fearful energy. Um, I completely understand. And th there's no reason, uh, no one is saying that you're wrong here. Okay. No one is wrong, whether you're fearful or not fearful. I mean, all realities, all perspectives, all opinions, all points of view are valid. No one is wrong. It's just that this circumstance, this situation has become so divisive and it really has kind of, it's showing us, you know, our, our weak spots as a community, as, as a people, as, you know, the human race, as, you know, if you want to break it down into countries and, and civilizations. And I mean, I guess you could say <laughs> our ass is showing right now and we can't handle it. But I'm gonna. But to be honest with you guys, it's been showing for a while, hasn't it? Oh boy. All right. Well. So with all that said, um, I'm slowly gonna, you know, be making my way back into doing readings. Um, this, the next two months are gonna be weird for me, you guys. I just wanna, I just wanna point that out, because many of you know I'm trying to move, um, and my move has been delayed because of you know the lockdown and everything. Like li literally, I should be in my new place right now. Um, I was supposed to move in. I was supposed to be in by the 1st of May, but because everything is locked down and everything like that, and I'm going to a, sp a pretty specific area, which you guys, I'll, I'll disclose that later, but, um, suffice it to say that the lockdown is really, is putting a real big damper on that. 
Um, so the next two, the, the month of May and the month of June are going to be weird for me. Um, it's going to be really in intermittent. Um, there's going to be pauses. It's going to be very inconsistent. I'm, I'm just going to let you guys know right now. It's going to be very inconsistent. My goal right now is to do as much, keep up with morning coffee as I much, as much as I can and to get the monthly readings going both. And, and now that's a, <laughs> that's a double load for me now because it's the general readings and then the love readings for all the Patreon people. And I do have a Patreon account. So if you guys want to get in on some love readings and some extra things coming forward or coming down the line as we move forward, um, go ahead and do that. The link is in the description box below. So that's my focus right now. Morning coffee whenever, you know, it feels right and getting the monthly readings out. As far as um, private readings, uh, that's going to be... That's going to be case by case. Uh, and it's going to depend on the moment. Um, I'm going to have... A, so I'm not necessarily taking... Well, I'm not going to be taking any private readings until I finish the monthly readings, period. Okay, that, that's because I can't overload myself with that. Um, I do have two already on the docket that I'm going to do, um, you know, and you guys know who you are, uh, who have those. But um, yeah, so just bear with me. May and June are going to be some really, it's going to be a really interesting time for me. All right. But I'm here. And I'm not really planning on going anywhere going away at least whatever you guys get it okay all right cool so enough of that enough of that let's just get into the message what we've got for today all righty hi spirit please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, May 4th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're going to give this three shuffles and we'll see what we've got, yeah? One. Part of, um, <laughs> part of my situation last week, well, first of all, I hope you guys had a good week last week. Mine was okay. Um, there was a lot of purging happening. And part of the reason why I needed to take a break, and even part of the reason why I'm still feeling a little apprehensive now was I was in a headspace where I was very upset I was very upset with spirit. I was very upset with myself. Um, I, I've been I've been dealing with a lot of purging of betrayal and backstabbing and feeling used and taken advantage of and all that happy hoopla. Um, and it was a it was a, a struggle for me to pull myself out of that negative space. And so being able to sit here and, and read cards for people and say, well, listen to your intuition and pray to the angels and stay connected and blah, 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 was like I, the thought of saying that, like suggesting that to you guys, like made me sick. <laughs> like that's, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be so real with you guys. That's how bad it was. Like I, I didn't even want to know spirit. I didn't want to know cards. I didn't want to know readings. I didn't want to know self-help. I didn't, I mean like... Uh, ugh, it just the thought of it made me want to throw up so I couldn't imagine trying to give advice to you guys if I couldn't even if I couldn't even stomach it myself you know and I'm feeling a little better now but still everything is still a fog <laughs> so we'll see how this goes okay all right so let's see what we've got for today please spirit what do you want to discuss with us today Ace of Wands, and it's in reverse. Okay. And you know what I'm picking, what I'm getting with the Ace of Wands is it feels like, and here we go, here goes my life all up in, all up in, <laughs> all up in this, but I, I get what I'm, what I'm getting with this Ace of Wands in reverse. It's like, it's, it, it's not time for action yet, period. Take it slow, take it easy. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. 
Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Moon with that. Um, yeah. Oh my God. This is literally what I was just talking about. Emotions are really high right now. There's a lot of purging, a lot of cleansing, a lot of clearing. This could feel like a dark night of the soul for sure. Could definitely feel like a dark night of the soul. What I'm getting here with the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Cups and the Moon. What this is saying here is yes, you may have things that you may want to take advantage of or that you may want to do. This may be, this may seem ideally, this may seem like a time where it's like, oh my God, I could get so much done, but can you really? I mean, what can you really get done right now? Because what we really need to be doing is working on clearing up these emotions, clearing, cleaning up the baggage, okay? Closing out the cycles with the moon and the queen of cups. Um, I'm hearing and feeling specifically that the moon energy right now is speaking to how unclear, it's speaking to the uncertainty of everything. I mean, like I literally... I literally want to just like stop doing this reading right now just because of what this is saying but i'm not going to do that i'm going to finish it but and, and i want to pull more but emotions are high right now this is a time to rest and recuperate and get yourself together i mean think about it this way guys and and trust me i know i understand how frustrating this is because even while i was in this energy all of last week just trying to purge and cleanse and clear and like work on self-care and all that <clears throat> um Oh no, I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, there was this sense of restlessness. It's like I didn't want to do anything. Like I literally didn't want to do anything. And yet I was extremely restless. All right, so here's the thing. Even though maybe our masculine sides or our egos are saying to us, you need to be doing, you need to be doing, you need to be doing. Quite frankly, this is not a time for doing anything but healing, cleansing, clearing, purging. That's it. And think about it this way. When will you ever really have an opportunity like this again? Okay, let's play devil's advocate here. And let's say by some weird stroke of luck that everything goes back to the way it was. Not going to happen. But let's say that it did. And you were right back in the rat race. You were right back in that nine to five, grinding, 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 <clears throat> not having any time, any time for yourself. Like, and so, okay, so, so let's, let's look at it a different way then. We don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, things are never going to be the same. But, you know, when the world starts, I don't know, working again, what's it going to be like? We have no idea. You don't know if you'll have this time period in the future where you'll just be able to sit around and face your emotions, right? Focus on your emotions. Focus on your emotional, your mental well-being, right? You have the time, the space to do it right now. So take advantage of this. Take this time. Okay. And uh, look, you might have, you might have some goals. You might have some plans. I do. I have things that I've been, I've been wanting to do. I've been working on manifesting for the longest time. And now it's here, right? Or the opportunity has presented itself, but everything is on, I'm on hold. I'm on pause. Can't move forward even if I wanted to, Right. So, I mean, I have, I, I've been planning, mapping this out since mid-March, you guys. Moving, you know, getting my place together, getting the, because I'm going to have space for a studio and all that. And, 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 and I'll have more space to do, you know, readings and expand and blah, blah, blah. And, and I mean, it's going to be great. But I'm blocked right now. Many of us, we all are. You could very well have plans You gotta hold off for a second. Let's get some more here. What else you got for us today, Spirit? <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Interesting. Yeah, and the King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. You know, it's interesting. I. I want to get one more. I know this this King of Wands energy is quite relevant, okay? Because this does say that we have, th there is some sort of ambition. There is some sort of, 
goal, something that you want to do. Okay, that's fine. But also the thing about the King of Wands is he knows when the right time to strike is. Okay, he's not afraid to sit back and observe until you know the moment is right. And that's what I feel like that's what I feel like we're on we're in right now. This four of autumn or in other words four of pentacles is really saying to stand your ground. Hunker down. Hold your space. Hold your own. Don't let I mean don't let go of any of your plans, any of your goals, any of your options, but do work on letting go of the emotion or whatever it is you need to cleanse, clear, or purge. Let's get one more card on this Four of Pentacles. Please, Spirit. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Because what I want to do, actually, is I want to start clarifying a bit. So, I want to start with the Four of Pentacles then. Let's get some clarity here. Some understanding yes the, i mean the message from the four of pentacles or the four of autumn is to stand your ground hold your own make sure that you you know manage your finances well um i mean stand your ground hold your center hold your base hold your foundation okay hunker down i mean this literally i mean it's really giving me a feeling of like that 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 um quarter type energy the, the the really stubborn energy of the four of pentacles but but in this case it's going to be it's 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 beneficial okay last shuffle and then let's talk about this four of pentacles why do we need to why do we need to hunker down like this? I'm trying to find, you know, another word for it, but I guess that's the best way to put it. So why is this Four of Pentacles, Four of Autumn here for us? Please, Spirit. The Magician. Yeah. Look, you're you're manifesting. Ooh. Knight of Cups. Okay, interesting. Um, a message that just came through with this Knight of Cups energy is um, I'm literally feeling or seeing, it's like you're clearing space for your heart to move forward I, 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 that's really interesting um so right now this is a moment for us to really cleanse out our emotional space our or our auras our energetic fields i'm just i'm seeing with the magician and the knight of cups the magician is talking about the manifestation you moving forward in your life it's more than just you know what's immediately right in front of you this this is this magician energy is you know, talking about um, overall grand scheme, you trying to create, manifest the life that you want to live. The Knight of Cups is talking about you moving forward with your heart and what is, what is, what you're manifesting f from, you're mani from manifesting from this space of your heart chakra, okay? But also what I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups is that literally there's a, a path being cleared and it could be that your heart is clearing this path as you move forward it's almost like you know your heart is kind of like that um that plow what i'm literally seeing like one of those big uh big um trucks that they use to like plow a highway you know during a big snowstorm and it's got like the two the the two plows on the on the very side on the like the front end of it but like diagonally and it just pushes all the snow off to the side that's kind of, that's kind of what i'm seeing right here a path is being cleared. A way is being cleared for you to move forward with your manifestations, but you need to hold your ground. You need to stay steady, stay firm. Okay, there you go. The Three of Wands. Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, so I guess I haven't, I haven't lost the touch yet. All right, cool. I guess I can still read, but like, whatever. This still feels weird. But then there you go. Look, at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Okay, so there's sp there are things that need to be cleared. All right. Underneath the Ten of Wands is, in fact, the Six of Swords. Okay, so we're moving forward. This is a good thing. All right. This is all part of the path. You don't have to worry. Look, especially since, like, if you have, sorry, there are things under my desk. If you have goals, plans in mind, and it's been put on hold, that's not your fault. Okay. There is a there is a bigger there is a much bigger situation. Something much bigger is happening. All right? It's all part of the path. Three of Wands. It's all part of the path. Don't get down about it. I mean, use this time wisely. Okay? So, with that said, let's talk about the moon then. 
because we, okay we can know we, we know what the queen of cups is that's all the emotion and all that stuff okay that's that's trying to find emotional stability um you, all that kind of stuff okay but the moon is I'm, I'm seeing the moon as the energies of what we're actually dealing with what's being cleared out okay so let's talk about this for a second what is <clears throat> what is the moon please spirit ace of cups in reverse what is the moon here oh yeah see what ten of wands okay so um ace of cups in, re in reverse now what i've been personally dealing with here and i'm sharing as you guys know i'm sharing this so that you know to help you guys but what i've been personally dealing with is betrayal straight up and down and one of the main dialogues that i've been i've been having with spirit lately is i just i don't i don't want to be involved any longer I don't want to be involved any longer. Why Why would I want to be involved if I'm just going to be betrayed over and 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 you get it? Like, why? It's become a burden to show love, to share love. And that's not something I thought I would ever say. And yet, here I am being faced with this very thing, okay? Now, for others of us, this is... I mean, that was me specifically, but what I'm actually getting for the collective here with this Ace of Cups, it's like there's a lack of self-love or there is a lack of love. It's like it's it's become such a burden. So this is kind of like what we're purging here. High Priestess with Justice in Reverse. Let's see? <laughs> okay, but but and I know this is not something that you want to hear. And this is definitely not something I wanted to hear last week, for sure. It's still not something that I want to hear. Like, I'm still struggling with this. And this is exactly why I couldn't bring myself to do any readings last week, because having to tell you something like this last week would have probably made my head explode, okay? But there was a higher purpose to all of it. The High Priestess. Yes, injustice abounds. No one is taking trying to take that away from you, okay? It's, uh, it's quite obvious there has been some injustice here when it comes to love and it's even gotten so burdensome that it's like I don't even know how to love myself or like it like I don't even I don't even have the energy I don't even have the the wherewithal I don't even have the drive to want to show love to the self guys I was going through this all last week 22 22 okay but here's the thing as I was going through all of this I was seeing 222 all the time and I just saw 22 22 on the counter right there Okay, I was going through this all last week. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't even feel like I'm completely out of the woods on that yet. But at least I'm in a better place. At least I can talk about it a little bit. But look at that, though. You have the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So look, you guys, there is movement. Okay, and that's something that I had to come to terms with. Even though I was in such a state of inertia, there was actually a lot of movement happening last week because I was making a lot of progress because, yes, I was angry, I was hurt, I was feeling down, I was dejected, I was rejected, I, all that shit, right? I was feeling all that shit. But I was making moves, I was making strides in terms of dealing with it because I was facing it. And we are facing things, we are moving. Okay, there is movement happening, but it is internal movement. It's not movement that's quite made it to the surface yet. Make sense? All right, so let's look at the Queen of Cups then. What do you want to say about the Queen of Cups spirit? Ooh, Three of Cups. Okay, interesting. Whoa. That was the six of cups that just flew off the table and i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna call a spade a spade in some situations here you guys um soulmate out the window completely out the window the star and the knight of wands very interesting but the hanged man all right so look um <laughs> so yeah, okay, that was like a little, a, a cheeky little thing. All right, fine, soulmate out the window, whatever, it doesn't matter. Because that, that was the first thing that I picked up on, and yeah, that is kind of part of the situation here. It's like, screw anyone else. 
I need to get back to myself. I need to learn to love myself right now. And I can barely do that. So what makes you think I have any time for you? you someone is saying to the soulmate. Like that was the, <laughs> when the card came out, it flew off the table. And that was the first thing that I picked up on. So, okay, yeah, there's some little bit of animosity. There's a little bit of hate. There's a little bit of malice. All right, cool. It's par for the course, though. It's understandable. Why? Because of this shit, right? Okay, great. So. Now, what this is really meaning, though, and this is something that I was experiencing all last week, too, it's all about the inner child right now. Six of Cups, all right? It is all about getting back into your inner child and getting back in and healing some situations from the past that you didn't quite have the time, energy, or attention span, yes, attention span, to deal with in the past. But now we have that time, and there is a celebration here. I, I, I want to assure you guys, because this is what's coming through with this Three of Cups here. I want to assure you that however it is that you're handling this or dealing with whatever heartbreak, or whatever animosity, whatever you're dealing with, whatever methods you are using, trust me, it's working. And the universe is right behind you saying, please keep going, encouraging you to do so because it's helping. It may not necessarily feel like it or look like it right now in this current moment, but baby... Trust me, it's helping. I promise you it's helping. At least that's what I'm getting with this Three of Cups because if like you guys have been paying attention for a while now, this Three of Cups has been coming out and it's been a celebration. It's been like the universe is coming forward and celebrating with you on your behalf because you're doing a lot of great work here. You really are. Look, the star with the Knight of Wands, the star is, yes, wish fulfillment. This is the ultimate wish fulfillment card, but the star also represents healing. And it seems like you're activated here. I just, I'm getting this very strong sense of you may not, you may not recognize it right now. And maybe this is something I need to hear, but you may not recognize it right now, but you're activated and you're moving forward. Okay. You have this change in perspective, probably that you've been looking for all along. And no, you didn't expect it to look like this. I didn't expect it to look like this. I didn't expect my change in perspective to come in the form of being completely cynical. I, I mean, that's the best word I have for it. It was, it was like the strongest sense of cynicism and apathy that I have ever experienced in my life. And trust me, I know how to be apathetic, okay? <laughs> but like this, this was like a whole other level. Like it was literally to the point, you guys, where I just, I wanted to disappear last week. I really wanted to disappear last week. I didn't want to be involved in anything. I didn't want to, I, I, I didn't want to be a leader. I didn't want to be a, a, a light, light worker. I didn't want to be a way shower. I didn't want to, I didn't want to be a spiritual coach. I didn't want to be a life coach. I didn't want to, I didn't want to fight for the light. I didn't want to fight on behalf of the light. I also didn't want to fight on behalf of the dark. I kind of wanted to just tell both sides to fuck off and never speak to me again. You know, it was that kind of, it's that kind of feeling. Like y'all want to fight this war? That's fine. You fight this war, but leave me the hell out of it because I want nothing to do with it because neither one of you are right. Neither one of you are wrong. Y'all are just fighting this war over and over again and getting all these individuals caught in the crosshairs and blah, and all this pain and destruction. And like, no, you can fight this yourself. I want nothing to do with it. I'm going to go crawl in a hole and disappear. That's literally how it felt. So yeah, the thought of <laughs> the thought of coming back and doing readings for people was like, are you out of your mind, Eric? How, how do, but see now, see, look, justice wants to turn up right now. Because in, 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 you know, spirit and spirit is sitting in the background watching us have these, these fits and rants and raves and ego battles and blah, blah, blah. And just kind of laughing at us because we here on the front lines don't realize how things are shifting. And we don't necessarily realize that this is all part of the path. Okay. And while we're sitting here ranting and raving, rah, 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 I hate you, spirit, justice is being served. Because why? We are doing what it is we need to do to love ourselves, what we've needed to do to love ourselves all along. Ugh. Lord have mercy. <laughs> all right. Um, let's look at the Ace of Wands then. Ace of Wands is in reverse. So what do you... Um, actually, let's go to the Golden Universal Tarot for that one. Because I kind of want to look up, I want to get a little bit of a prediction here. What is this? What is this Ace of Wands done, Spirit? What is being held back? One last 
Chaos Shuffle. What's being held back from us right now? What is on pause right now, Spirit? Oh, look at that. Justice with the King of Wands. Ooh. So what I'm getting with this with this energy right here right now is y'all are focused. We are focused on something, you guys. We are f straight up focused. And mm, I heard the laws of the universe are on your side. So whatever betrayal you have experienced, whatever heartbreak, whatever hardship, whatever tomfoolery, backstabbering, backstabbering, oh, that's good, backstabbering, uh, fuckery, you know, like whatever, justice is going to be served. And I'm definitely seeing this King of Wands as you because, or whomever this is resonating for, because it seems that you had a goal all along. You've, you've had an end game that you've been trying to get to and it's gonna happen that's just I, I don't i don't i don't know what else to say there with that but we have the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is in reverse though um we have the six of wands we have the eight of swords we have the chariot all of the four of pentacles and the wheel of fortune okay we have all of this in reverse um we have the Six of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Chariot, all in reverse. Now, the Three of Pentacles, first thing I, I thought or I picked up on with the Three of Pentacles was um, there is some sort of team teamwork aspect element that is just on hold. This is all on pause right now. Eight of Swords is representing the quarantine, the, the pandemic, all of that stuff. The Six of Wands is representing the victory. The Chariot is, in fact, representing moving forward with your goals, okay? So this is either entrepreneurship with the Three of Pentacles or some sort of team effort, um, maybe even a new job, a new career path, self-mastery in some way, um, building your life, continuing to build your life in some way. But everything is on hold right now. And thus you have the Four of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. Four of Pentacles. We're, the, we're coming full circle again. Okay, Four of Pentacles is coming back. But this is why Spirit is asking you to hold your ground, stand firm. Look, do whatever it is you need to do. Do whatever it is you need to do to hold your own right now. Because there is a lot that's changing. We're literally playing roulette right now with the universe. Okay, Wheel of Fortune with Four of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. There's a higher plan, there's a higher goal, there's there's a higher meaning to all of this. You just can't see it yet. And, uh, okay, and this is a message for me too. But, um, Spirit's coming through right now, and they're, they're, they're saying, look, we're begging you. We really just need you to stay calm, stay focused, and just, look, do whatever it is you need to do. Okay? We're working on your behalf. We know this is stressful. We know this is a lot. We know this isn't necessarily what you thought you were signing up for, but we've got you. It's fine. Just please, 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 we're begging you, please, whatever you need to do right now to get through this, just do it. Don't worry about it. And don't hold back either, is what I just heard. Don't hold back. Just do whatever you gotta do. Because this is some, this, this, <sighs> there's a higher wisdom, there's a higher meaning to everything, okay? Obviously, they're not going to tell us the high priestess. I'm looking into this high priestess energy, and it's like, spirit is like, look, it's this, I don't, I don't, I'm having trouble describing this. It's like the look that someone, that someone gets on their face Let's say, okay, all right, let's say you're planning a surprise party for someone, right? And the person that you're planning the surprise party for is starting to figure things out and or is starting to get pissed off for whatever reason. Um, and it kind of looks like there's a valid reason as to why they should be angry because they're getting frustrated because y'all are trying to plan this party and you're trying to make it a secret. But like they're, they also like, well, look, I, I got shit to do. Like, why, why are you guys being so secretive? Why don't you just tell me what's going on? And they're like, we can't. 
well your spirit oh my god look at what's underneath this queen the the high priestess the ace of wands again with the ten of wands again oh my goodness sandwich with the high priest with the wow i'm sorry guys but the high priestess is saying it's that mm, he that oh god oh my god this i know you're getting angry but please don't get angry like just just bear with me it's gonna be fine i promise that's the kind of energy that i'm getting from this right now <laughs> oh boy all right let's close out this reading here i'm gonna get oracle guidance from the earth war earth blah, 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 earth warriors deck today Ah, boy, oh boy. I'm going to be honest. I'm I'm not sure I'm going to do morning coffee every day this week. I don't... I, you got... I'm having trouble. I'm struggling with not doing readings. Like, I want to be able to do them, but at the same time, I don't... I can't force myself to do more than I feel ready for, than I feel capable of right now. And if this reading is any indication, because as usual, Spirit has me throwing my whole life story out on the YouTubes for everyone to see. <laughs> but if this reading is any indication, we're all, we're all just, we're struggling. We're struggling right now. We're all trying to do what we're just doing our best. Just, just get through this shit. So please bear with me. All right. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there right now. I'm not I'm not sure I'm going to be doing morning coffee every day this week. I'm going to do my best. I also have a lot of other things to do also, and I really don't want to do any of it. But you know what? <laughs> Such is life, right? Okay. Last shuffle, and then we will we'll close out this reading here. Closing message, please, spirit. There it is. Oh, wow. Card number one. That's cool. Uh, ho -so. ho -so. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but it's the beauty way of the Navajo. Beautiful. I love this deck, you guys. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's see. All right, the message here is... You are my sacred earth child, and I am your divine earth mother. With unconditional love, I provide all that you want and need so that you may fulfill your sacred destiny. We will always belong to each other. With abundance and generosity, I support you, revealing the beauty, the, I'm sorry, the divine beauty meant for you so that joy and awe shall fill your soul. Relax now. It is time for you to be healed. In a reading, this says, this is a beautiful solution. I'm sorry. There is a beautiful solution available. Do not place your faith in worry or stress. Allow life to unfold as you relax and give yourself permission to rest within the vastness and beauty of nature. You will become receptive to the best way to handle things. Don't try to figure it out by force. Let go and trust that what is needed is coming to you at the perfect time and in the perfect way. Your peaceful mind shall perceive readily and accurately all that you need to know. Wow. I mean, isn't that just perfect? Um, I do want to read the rest of this because this just seems so ridiculously perfect right now. I, it's uncanny. So I'm going to read it. The spiritual guidance here says, <clears throat> The beauty way reminds you that beneath the noise, beneath your worries and concerns, there is oneness between you and life. Even if your worry may feel chaotic at times, even if you, f if you fear that you have gone off track, the path that will return, will return you to peace, beauty, balance, and harmony is always here for you. You do not have to become stressed or exhausted to fix what is, isn't working. Solutions can come to you more easily when you allow yourself to drop off the to drop out of the pain and into the pleasure of the beauty way. Sometimes problems will disappear altogether in this place, and you shall realize that you were that there were. Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. I can't even read today. 
<laughs> Sometimes problems will disappear altogether in this place, and you shall realize that they were nothing more than the dark creation of an overworked, fatigued mind. Sometimes you will discover a different way to look at things, a helpful vision gifted by great spirit, and gain the energy to become productive, applying a simple and inspired idea that changes everything. The beauty way isn't about ignoring the reality of the world or becoming superficial. The beauty way is a deep spiritual feeling in all aspects of life. This appreciation restores the soul with a sublime recognition of a greater loving intelligence that is always present, always inviting, always responding. When some form of ugliness is disturbing your soul, threatening to steal your peaceful trust in the divine, you are guided to come back to the beauty way, back into worshipful reverence of the sacred. From that place, you then become empowered to deal with the situation in a way that increases love and joy in yourself and the world. Rather than being overtaken by the ugliness, you are able to offer beauty instead. Can you relax for a moment now? This is your first step into the beauty way. Allow the simple beauty of nature, of human kindness, of divine love to seep deep into your soul, infusing it like a sacred tea. Divine beauty moves through you and fills you, re uh, bringing you a lightly euphoric feeling. You can be uplifted, renewed, at peace. The divine feminine knows how to create beautiful harmony. She includes you, your life journey, all human beings, and the world as a whole within her wisdom and grace. When you relax into her beauty, she will show you many possibilities. She will help you attract what you need and want most. In this way, you can become a channel through which her creative healing energy can flow abundantly into your life and to others in this world. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this was helpful for you. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee at some point. I, I'm just, I'm just going to keep it real and call a spade a spade. I don't know. <laughs> but I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Yeah, have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.